What's going on guys, Purple Thumper here, bringing you another uh, gameplay commentary. This one is actually on one of the new Resurgence maps, Fuel. And um, I actually get a nuke here for you guys to watch, but um, I want to kind of uh, kind of give you a heads up. There is going to be some camping involved in, uh, in this nuke, which is something I really don't like. If you guys follow my, uh, my other videos, you guys know I'm not a camper, you know, I'm not... Camping to me is kind of obnoxious, so I don't do it that often. The only reason why I was camping here to get some kills was because this is actually the first time I ever played Fuel. I uh, didn't have a clue what to expect. I actually got the uh, the map packs, um, I think a day after they came out. So um, all my friends, you know, had a chance to uh, to play the the new Resurgence maps before I did. So they're you know basically told me you know, um, Fuel. Fuel's a map that's big, a lot of buildings, a lot of uh, spots to, to snipe from, a lot of rooftops you got to watch out for. So it's kind of, you know, just trying to be as cautious as I could right now. Um, this is obviously, it's a sabotage match. I did not start this uh, this gameplay in the commentary at the beginning of the game. It's actually about halfway through. I think it started around the 9 or 8 minute mark left in the game just because I uh, wanted to try to keep the, move, the, uh, the gameplay commentary under 10 minutes long so I cut out. Uh, the first half of the gameplay but yeah um, right here you can see I'm just kind of got the uh, using the silenced and red dot ACR so I'm using obviously bling pro is my first perk stop and power pro is my second perk and sit rep pro is my third perk I am um, using the akimbo and extended mag Rafikas for my secondary weapons flashbang and semtex grenades and um, as you can see, I'm just kind of trying to stick to this um, this big building here in the middle. Like I said, I'm I was very unfamiliar with the map. This is the first time ever playing it. Uh, I just wanted to kind of stick to one building that I knew had a lot of entrances to and a lot of windows up top to where I could pick people off. I had to uh, pick up pick up some guys uh, Famas with a grenade launcher just to uh, to keep some ammo flowing through my guns just because uh, the ACR ran out of ammo. So I picked that up. Had Fortunately I found uh, two, uh, two noob tubes in it so I used both of those to get me some kills. You're gonna see, um, well first of all I'm running my uh, kill streaks are 7 for Harrier, 11 chopper gunner and obviously 25 nuke. But you'll see um, when I call in the the chopper gunner gets me like two kills so I have to do everything all the rest by myself. You can see there, I thought there might be a doorway there. Obviously there wasn't. Just because, you know, I'm still not really... I don't really know this map very well since it's my first time playing it, but just trying to kind of move around the map and uh, pick off, you know, any stragglers that might come by. Right there, I got my Harriers picking off those two guys. But uh, this building's actually... There's a lot of... A lot of different doorways. You know, a lot of different levels to it, so... I mean, it's not, as long as you could run around and constantly keep an eye on, or will try to keep an eye on all the all the entrances, you'll do pretty good, you know, because then there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of windows up top you can look out to pick people off while they're running by, but um, I'm going to give, uh, start actually doing something new, I'm going to start giving uh, shout outs to uh, the teammates that, I, that I'm playing with, to the people I know anyway. Because uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I wouldn't be getting nukes or doing as good as I do if it wasn't for, you know, playing with friends and good teammates, you know, that can that can hold their own and that could, you know, protect me or, you know, just work as a good unit for the win. So in this match, as you can see, I just got the chopper gunner, so I run and lay it down over here and call it in. But this match, I'm running with some friends, one of the purples, Purple Splinter, uh, Toxic Sandwich, and Captain Bubbles. So shout out to you guys for helping me out on this map but you can see here I still haven't made up my mind whether or not this would be a good map for like an AC-130 or chopper gunner probably more for an AC-130 since if everyone's hiding in buildings there's a lot of windows and stuff you could shoot the the rounds and the bombs in but you can see here I only get I think two kills two or three at the most and then I get shot down but so I was up around you know like a I think 13 kill streak or something like that maybe a little more because I think the Harrier got me a couple so I had to do all the rest myself but um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about what I think about the Resurgence maps uh, I like this one 
you know, I, I've heard a lot of feedback so far from people that have played it before I got to play it that, you know, it's 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 not a good map, it's too big, it's just going to be, you know, a camper's paradise, it's you know, going to be nothing but snipers. But uh, you can see here, actually, um, it's actually a pretty nice map to play Sabotage on. You know, even though it's so big, it's it's a very balanced map, even though it's so big. You know, it's not, one side doesn't, con you know, isn't better than the other. You have buildings on both sides, you know, that you stay up in and shoot out windows. Okay, it's very, uh, it's very, it's a very long map, you know. So it's actually, it's, it's good for sabotage. It's very balanced, you know. And it's, it's obviously because the map's so big, it's, it's not very easy to spawn camp that I've seen so far, you know. For sabotage, I mean, you have to work to get the bomb to the enemy's uh, bomb site, you know, because the map's so big. So, and in return, they have to work hard also. But I mean, this is like I said, this is the only time I've played the map. I haven't played it since, so. Sabotage is the only game a game mode I've seen it played on, so I mean I'm not sure if it would be good for search and destroy or team deathmatch or any other game type like that. But so far for sabotage, I really like it. Um, Carnival, it's actually um, been one of my favorite maps so far. I really like Carnival. I mean, if you're an objective player and you're all about the win, it's a great map for callouts. I mean, there's so many distinct landmarks that you could use as call you know call outs the you know the fun house clown's mouth the rocket ship you know the castle the roller coaster i mean there's so many call outs that you know once somebody says it they can only mean one spot so that's infinity war did a really nice job at, at the call out aspect i've played it in different game modes and so far i've liked playing carnival in every game mode and um obviously vacant and strike you know two great maps from Call of Duty 4, you know, um, they did a great job at at taking those two maps and kind of not, you know, redo it as far as the looks of the maps, you know, I think the colors that they did and they put in on vacant really makes the map stand out better, you know, it's not as dark, there's not as many shadows, you know, it's more open, and I really like the, the color scheme and the lighting on that map, and Strike, Strike's one of my all-time favorites, you know, on from COD 4, so... I was really happy to see that one back. Um, then there is Trailer Park. And Trailer Park, I'm going to say I played it on different game modes. And uh, so far, well, there you can see I just got my nuke right there, 25th kill. But And I, I wait to call it until the end. But anyway, back to the what I think about Trailer Park. Trailer Park, you know, it's, it's one of those maps I'm not a big fan of. You know, I've played it on a lot of different game modes, you know, Team Death. Demolition, uh, capture the flag, I believe. Search and destroy. You know, and I'm I'm not a big fan. I don't really like it personally. I think it's um. I think it's just going to be a shotgun map. You know, that's what I've seen so far. What people doing? Nothing but shotguns. And uh, I think what you're going to see is once people get used to that map and people get used to other teams' tendencies and how the the map is going to be, you know, run the most. I think. It's gonna be a camp fest on that map for um for hiding in the trailers and stuff like that and like I said, despite this video here, you know, I'm not a camper. I don't like camping, so um I only camp. I can understand if you're camping because it's the first time you played the map and you don't know your surroundings. But uh, if, you know if you check out my other nuke videos or my other you know free for all videos or whatever on my on my channel, you can tell you know I don't I don't camp. So um here like I said, I just did it because I didn't know the map. But, um, actually here I was sitting and waiting and thinking, you know, let's, let's save the nuke for overtime. But then I realized, well, I don't want to, I want to make sure I don't die in overtime by accident or something crazy happens. So I actually called in, I think with like four tenths of a second left and I get these two quick kills here, but that's it guys. There's the nuke on fuel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on the resurgence map and stuff like that. I end up going 53 kills, five assists and 13 deaths. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, keep watching my videos. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I'll try to get this up to Machinima, see if they push on their respawn page. But thanks a lot, guys. Purple Thumper.